Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lanelle. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, welcome back for Green Leaf. Y'all, welcome back to Calvary. We got yeah. a whole lot going on in the church. I'm not going to hold Too you much going on. on in the church, man. All I'm going to say is, when is someone going to be there for Gigi? Whoa, I forgot. When they start blaming her for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you're not a member of Calvary, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That will let us know that you're transferring from whatever church you came from to come on over here at Calvary. Yeah. If you just want to be on what they call it, on Watchtower. Yeah. No, Watch Care. If you want to be on Watch Care, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That yeah, means that and, and you forgot if you want to join by letter, we'll take those out of service, too. <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time. It's too kind of late for this <laughs> bullshit. But we appreciate y'all coming back each and every week. We're going to get on into it. Um, Closing doors. Okay. So, Miss Clara's money manager mm -hmm. don't put the brakes on everything. Because Coochie Cross went ahead and put that little bug in Miss Clara's ear. That, look, maybe you need to get your peoples to hear about what you get ready to do. Mm -hmm. And see if they agree on all this good stuff. Well, the money manager said, mm -hmm. if it was in the church's name, maybe. But since you're going to be giving these people personal money, money. Uh, yeah. it's not in the best interest of you to go ahead and do something like that. So now First Lady and Bishop is trying to figure out another way in which they could conspire to get this dad on money. <laughs> so First Lady went ahead and approached Bishop. And I said, okay, when is she going to actually tell Bishop her plans? So she went and told Bishop, said, hey. What we need to do is stand up before the church. Tell the church, listen, our marriage ain't going too good. We can compile a letter. We can do whatever we need to do. But tell them that this is what's going on. We're going through a separation <laughs> period. And that you will be stepping down. And I will be taking over the church. He said, come, come what? Come again. Yeah, now what? No, what he should have said when, when uh, my mom on Friday, when uh, Ice Cube had said something to Debo, he said, what did you say, dear ninja? <laughs> <laughs> That's how he looked at her. That's the way he looked at her. So, what? You know that one gonna fly. He said, this is not how this works around here. And if anybody will be leaving, it will be you. But it, it won't be Because it's nature's way. It's nature. I said, come on, Bishop, now. Wait a minute, Bishop. So you done lost me at that one. What? But this is what I kept telling Stanley all night long when I was watching this. I understand that the Bishop and the First Lady don't been through a little scuffle and whatnot. But when did it change and get so bad that we ended up here? Like, I'm, did, did I miss something? I know what it is. What is it? Coochie got doing cross. I understand See, all of no, that. No, listen, no, li no, listen at me right here. Let me listen at me real quick. <sighs> See, May probably about 60-something years old. Am I right about it? She about 60-something years old. Now, I don't comment on women's ages. Good yes, church going woman. I don't care about don't know. Doing what the, what the Lord want her to do. <laughs> and then this young piece of booty comes along and steals the attention of your husband. Okay. And that her age is hard to bounce back from that skin. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't matter what happens. Yeah, it's hard to bounce back from that because every time she see him, <sighs> she see that situation. She see that situation with the young booty. I mean, you have a point. Because she, Cause she figures she can't sense. compete. Well, you, That's what in her mind. But she competes. But, it's, but it ain't no competition, though. Like Bishop told her, you you so far focused on me having this imaginary relationship that I'm not having. Yeah. It got you all messed up. Yeah, cause it's like just like when that uh, the movie the Tyler Perry came out, uh, uh, Why Did I Get Married? Mm. And he wanted that other girl over um, what you call it, and he ended up marrying the other girl that he thought was better. And when he got her, he was like, she just, she just, she just don't do. Don't do. Say, mm, That's what will end up with having the bishop if he go and try to go with Cooks Cross. That's why he ain't messing with her. Because she ain't <laughs> valuable enough. She ain't been through enough skit yet. She ain't got enough miles on her yet. <laughs> I'm not doing this. But yeah. yeah. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. You try it. You try And I ain't saying sex either. I'm talking about years of experience. Get your mind out the gutter. All right. <laughs> so, it wasn't nothing for May to go ahead and call a meeting with Deacon Connie Sykes. Now, give it up for Deacon Connie Sykes. Connie Sykes look good, y'all. She got the nice makeup going on. I see. Come on here, Deacon. Hmm. Because you know she runs the church. She really does run the church. Oh, yeah. So, May pitched her idea and her future plans 
with the old kind of sykes the kind of sykes was like uh we already spoke about that and yeah we don't agree about you taking over the church no 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 what i'm gonna need is i think that it would be better for someone a third party an uninterested third party to take over the pulpit i was like who is that i was like even like who was that because yeah. i was like wait a minute who is that she said Gigi. I said, oh, Lord, now you're going to throw Gigi in and she ain't got yeah, nothing to do with it. Nothing this. to do with it. But I said, I said, how do you say that she's an uninterested third party when she's a part of the family? You know why she said that? Because she don't agree with um with Gigi's um, theolo um, um, yeah, theology. Her method, her way, her inclusiveness. Nah, I, see, the thing about it, if you want to get somebody that's, that's, that, that's, that's uninterested or uh, uh, a third party, you need to go and hire somebody off the screen. Craigslist. Yeah. Put an ad out there. Put an ad on Facebook and, and um, sponsor the ad so it can go up before the people. Huh. So, now all of a sudden, May got a chip on her shoulder once again about Gigi. Because yeah. the way the county went and told her that was <laughs> almost as if they were having secret conversations behind Bishop and First Lady Bat yeah. about Gigi taking over the church. And that wasn't what it was. You need to tell the, the guy doing story correctly. Got doing kind of sites. You need to tell May that you went and you approached Gigi about going over there and taking over. You know over how them deacons work. When them deacons want something, they put they set it all in motion. Get everybody all messed up to get their will done. So then May, it didn't take nothing for May to go over there and jump in Gigi's face, walk uh, up in Gigi's office with an attitude. Gigi said, hey, mama, you think that you're going to take over the church? You and um, the deacon is conspiring against us to push us out the church so you can tell. She said, oh, this ain't what it is, mom. I don't even, I don't want, even the want the church. I don't. I don't. Matter of fact, I don't even want to be here. That's what she should have said. And I don't this, even want to be here. And then she put an Eddie can on and said, you ain't going to get it because you, you ain't got it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so I said, okay, further. And then Gigi, she set the record straight. She said, no, no, no. No, no, no. She came to me. We spoke about it. And I gave her a heavy, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Hell no. To the no, no, no. I don't blame her. So, of course, you know, first lady had to walk away on that one. But she still got her good eye on Gigi about the whole situation. I said, Gigi, what? You, you came there for a few you killed your uncle. You can go now, like for real. Yeah, you, your, your business already been done. <laughs> I, I would, you I would know just what? Go. Just take the L, cause you definitely gonna bounce back. <laughs> and then I would tell Estella, I said, you know what? Maybe this whole this friction that they have with well, Gigi doesn't have with her mom. This friction that Lady May has with Gigi. Maybe it's because Lady May sees. The calling that she abandoned in her daughter, and she's mad about it. Hmm. So every time she sees her daughter in operation, it reminds her of what she should be doing or how she should be. Maybe yeah. that's what it is. Like, and she's Lana's child, but like, <laughs> what is this? But that's the definition of jealousy, though. That's what that's what bursts jealousy. People get jealous when they look out and they see something that somebody else has and they didn't do what they needed to do to have that stuff. So they just hate on you. And Straight you ain't hate. got nothing to do with it. Ain't got you just you, being. You just being yourself. You just being responsible, taking care of your money, managing your bills. And so you got some nice stuff. Now you on the other side, all you want to do is turn up, buy, buy all this extravagant stuff. And then all the stuff that matters, you ain't got it. And then when you go through something, you got to go find me going. Never mind. Yeah. Um, so Bishop calls Percy <laughs> because I said, Oh Lord. So you know when you get in a crunch, you call the old players from back in the day that got some game with them. The ones that really had you back. So he said, Percy, you had some IRS skit going on back in the day. How did you get out of it? Percy was like, I got a lawyer, I robbed Peter, I paid Paul, Paul. I, I did I sold this, some I did stuff, that. But I didn't have millions though. He said, But what you need to do, that little cute little thing that's running around at that party, yeah, you need to get with her. Well, how you know about her? I bet on, on her website. website. So what the hell you doing on her website? He you said, don't even know all that. <laughs> he said, you know, she all up into the Bitcoin. She's into this. She's cryptocurrency. Into this. And he said, that's what you need to get into. So he done put the bug in, in his ear to go ahead and seek out Miss Coochie Cross once again. Well, that was all a part of Coochie Cross's game, right? Yeah, now. yeah. So Bishop bows his tail over there to go speak to Coochie Cross. And she played that thing and she played it well. 
and she basically act like you threw me out the party you humiliated me you made me feel like a fool you've mm -hmm. been playing around with my feelings you can go now bye-bye bye-bye <laughs> and told the guard that if he ever shows back up here again just don't even let me know so, so i said okay now we on to the to the mind games uh -huh. now yep i said she's playing chess that's she's how jezebel chess. works yes god so he walked out of there with his tail tucked between his legs and now he don't know what to do no money from the million for the Powerball winner. It can't get the help from the main person. It probably can't help you scheme your way it's back into the top. all the way around. So we had saw where Charity was out of jail. She got out. You know, um, Kevin just got her. He got her taken in and brought back <laughs> home because he didn't file charges. But even Charity is blaming Gigi for her getting locked up. Yeah, she was all the one that, that, that caused him not to press charges on you. But you were the one that also let him know where I was at. I was like, no, she didn't. No, no she didn't. She just placed the call because he was looking for it. She didn't know you was playing hooky. She thought she was on a rap. So she said, I got arrested at the Four Seasons, but would it made better for you at the Super 8? Yeah, what difference does what it difference make? Is, well, you might have blended in if you said Super 8 when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin came and got the baby for the weekend and Charity is all in her feelings. And somebody had put in a comment section. I said, I think you're right. Just like Charity is on her way to a mental break or if she's not in a mental break. Yeah. So she goes in her drawer and she pulls out a bottle, a prescription for um isocodone. I said isocodone. And she pops a pill and she immediately I said, it do it happen that fast? She kicked in like that. Kicked in that fast. And I said, okay, listen. This guy doing these oxys and these um, what the, these opioids? All that. This yeah. kid got to stop, man. Yeah. I'm trying to tell they you. They messing up people's life, man. Man, what? I'm I'm supposed to be having surgery on my foot soon, and I don't even want to have surgery because I know I'm gonna need some pain medicine, and I don't want to have the surgery because I don't want the pain medicine. Because I'm so freaking afraid that I'm gonna be in that number. Cause you know what I had my little eye surgery. Yes. I, I was on that. Uh, was it perks? No, one of the no perks. bikes. Viking. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I first balled my head when I did. <laughs> he was hot and bald as he had been balling since. Yep, been bald ever since. Man, they, they, that oxy, all of that. Look, I don't even want to take a hydroxic cut because it got oxy in the name. <laughs> all those oxys need all to go. All the oxys got to go. go. Oxygen is. No, is we, need our, we, we need oxygen. <laughs> it's optional right now. Yeah, here. yeah, we, we need that ox. Man, this stuff is scary. And I'm glad that they put it in here, but I'm like, y'all needed to educate. Just educate right on up in there. Yeah. They might get it. They might get it next week. So I don't count them out. So yeah, so if you on here like, and you popping pills, man, you better get some help, man. Man. It's, it's, it, it ain't no light at the end of that tunnel. Nah, what's up? Nah. It's dark down there. Mm -mm. Don't go. That's a scary thing right yeah, there. Yeah, don't go. So. We saw Sophia earlier in the episode and she started having this this tenderness, this pain going on in her side. And I'm like, okay, she can't be pregnant because she ain't had sex yet, so okay. So next thing we know, she was over inside the grandma's house. She was having a conversation with Zoe the Weed Explorer about going to Zaxby's. And she was like, I'd rather eat my socks. And I said, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is y'all Zaxby's good? Because I've had Zaxby's we here. one time and, and it, it was, sucked. It was, yeah, it was terrible. It tastes like club food. Like if you're ever at the club real late at night and you need to put something on your stomach, you know it's nasty, but you still need to put something on your stomach before you get sick. That's what it tastes like. It's like somebody took some cheap hamburger buns and that cheap um, chicken patties out the freezer and just throw it on the stove and just fried it up on both sides and put it on your sandwich and, and, and threw some cheese on it. And give you a big slice of Texas toast Yeah, buttered it down. That's some nasty stuff. But um, next thing we know, Gigi gets a telephone <laughs> call then everybody ends up at the hospital. Sophia is laying there. She doesn't know what's going on with it and they have to do exploratory surgery at this point. So Gigi is signing off on all of that. Sophia is, you know, get ready to go in and out of consciousness. She, mm -hmm. The happy juice is working. And you know, they call it a truth serum. And I said, Sophia, be careful what you say. Uh-huh. Be careful what you say. So she's telling her mama that her boyfriend wants to marry her. And uh -huh. he loves the fact that she has standards. And when they get married, they're going to have a big house. I thought she was getting ready to tell him. We, we would get ready to have, have sex. sex but in the car. I said, oh, she didn't say it. He said, we're going to have us a big house, mailbox, Mail, cover, mm -hmm. kids, all that good stuff. They took her back there to surgery. So while in the waiting room, Gigi goes out there, that dress she had on was biting. She be rocking them out now. Now, don't you? 
So at this point, Charity is hot as hell. <laughs> So she looks at Gigi, she was like, girl, <laughs> I've lost a daughter before. So you know what? I got you. You lose her, I got you. I First lady Mason. Said, hey, have you been drinking? You drunk? Like, you know that ain't, nobody don't act like that when they drunk. Not not that way. That's a high. I mean, she laid back uh -huh. like this. <laughs> and I said, Charity, what the hell? So then Jacob comes and they're having a conversation with Zora the Weed Explorer and you know she giving them all kinds of lip that she ain't giving first lady because she know about her. And um, so Charity walks up on that and was like, y'all really screwed her up. <laughs> but you got one, one more. You got one good one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, what the hell? So next we saw Charity go over there to the snack machine. She's putting her coins in the snack machine. She's pressing her button. Her whatchamacallit got stuck. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, Charity. From one fluffy girl to another. <laughs> Charity, I feel you. Man, it ain't nothing like. And you know what huh. always happens on the chips, though? When that little bag get in there, and that little thing go around that bag, and, and it you, don't And you be right. watching, boy. You be like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. And you know now these snack machines are so freaking heavy. Uh, you, can't you can't even move. wash them. Yeah, you, you can't be on the side. Them. You be mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to get. So what, fluffy girl to the next? I, I'm with you on that one, Charity. So Charity was like, boom, boom, boom. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Whole hand went through the snack machine. She reaches in there, gets the washer McCarty, y'all. Open it up. Eating it, hand all bloody. Somebody's gonna need stitches, stitches. Okay. and a lawyer. First lady said. <laughs> so she admitted to her what she had, you know, she had taken. She had taken a pill from when she had had a cesarean and whatnot. And she's just laid out there chilling in the hallway with an ace bandage on one in a wheelchair. And I said, so this is, this is, really? Really though? We need to have a conversation on about the guy doing these up here horse man. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's ridiculous. I think they need to put a thing in place is that uh, once you done been past what you went, they come back and collect that skit. Come back to your house and be like, They uh, prescribe too many. They yeah. really do. Yeah, all you need, just only, just break out two three. Days. Yeah, yeah, give like two or three of them and that's it. Mm -hmm. And they need some more of them to come back. And they got to go through a freaking psychiatric freaking test or something. Drug whatever y'all come up with to, to decide if they need no more of them pills. Mm-mm. If not, give them a ton no three. No, I don't know about that one either. Give them something. But she hand those out like the M&M's. They but do. She, but you make weed illegal. And lock people up with for, for life. Hell but people man. in the uh, pharmaceutical industry can give us all that skit and then nobody go to jail. Hmm. Hmm. And people dying from it. But you know that I'm family not, screwed up from it. I ain't even gonna say what I'm gonna say <laughs> because you know now it's an epidemic. Not like crack was. Funk didn't even but talk about that too. Yeah. Like when it was crack, it was black people, homeless, murderers, cracked out. This, but yeah. now it's an epidemic. That's now a mental illness. Yeah. Cause all colors involved. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, so they all decided to go to the chapel. Because at this point now, everybody was trying to be there for, well, First Lady was trying to be there for Gigi. Too late, First Lady. Yeah, I'm not yeah. even trying to be funny. This mm -hmm. ain't a time for you to try to mend fences with your daughter because your grandbaby going through something. Because right now, she don't want to hear skit, you got to say. Yeah. You been blaming her for everything, treating her like skit. No, she yeah. is not the shoulder that she, just she needs right now. She don't no. want you. So Gigi goes to the to the chapel alone. You know, she's having a moment with God. The rest of them decided to come on in. You know, Charity, she done sobered up by now, so she went up there with Gigi, and I said, I think that was the best choice, was for, you know, her to go up there, because they're the closest. I thought Bishop was going to go up there, mm -hmm. but he didn't. So, they're having a family moment. Coochie Cross is texting Bishop, trying to wheel him in like she do. Uh -huh. I thought he was going to get up out that chapel and just go to her, but he didn't. So, come to find out, they pulled <laughs> Gigi in. Well, no, actually, Gigi just went and Sophia yeah. was in recovery. And she's asking the doctor, how did it go? And I said, so ain't nobody come and get you and walk you through the process of what's oh, what going, going on, on with your yeah. daughter? Uh -huh. I mean, come on here. Well, come find out. She had a torsion. She had some um, cysts on her ovaries. They removed the cysts, but she didn't have enough scar tissue 
well, no, she didn't have enough flesh or something down there to save the ovaries. Yeah. So, Sophie can't have kids. Say, don't. So she told Gigi that Gigi broke down. She was like, you mean to tell me my baby is not going to be able to have and babies? And she has just said that too, man. I'm going to have some kids. I said, Lord, have mercy. Oh, man. So, Sophia woke up. And she's asking her mama, is she okay? She was like, you know, yes, for the most part, you okay. She said, why do you have a worried look on your face? So I said, well, where's the, where's the people that, 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 yeah. hunt, that walk you through stuff like this? Yeah. That's like if I wake up and I ain't got no knees and no elbows. Yeah. So you went in there because you had a scab on your knees. And then they come back and tell you that because you didn't have enough skin left. Yeah, I had to take you, my whole knee. Yeah, take your whole knee. Like, and you didn't tell nobody you take my knees? And then I wake up and I just feel that I ain't got no knees. And I'm supposed to be okay because I ain't got no knees. <laughs> That's the way the doctor was talking to him. Yes. Like, it's okay not to have no ovaries. <laughs> Get over it. We saved your life. Like, what? What? I said, couldn't nobody before they took this baby's ovaries walk out there. Because you got 15,000 people in the old bar. Yeah. Nobody could, could walk out there and explain to her mama what was about to happen right here. They just took the girls over, stitched her up, and laid them back on it. The and then tell you after the fact. And tell you after the fact. And that there goes Sophia broke all the way down. Yeah. And it broke me down. It broke my little heart. And I said, come on, Sophie. No, Sophie. You come on adopt. now. <laughs> you can adopt. Who, Sophie? Oh, but, but she don't want it at this point. She, she, mm. I mean, they, they've taken. And then it's the part that hurt me to my soul. And I, we were talking about this last night. This little girl don't try to be everything to God. Mm -hmm. Don't try to live her life right. Teaching she, the young kids and in, in, uh, in children's church. Yeah, she ain't gave up no goods. I mean, yeah. she's just an overall good person. Mm -hmm. Ain't did nothing to nobody. And she said, why didn't God stop this from happening mm -hmm. to me? I think she was thinking her mind, but like, why this didn't happen to Zora? She the one Act that's the devil. That's acting like the devil. <laughs> And I mean, that's that's real though. That's, that's real. real. Yeah, that's when real. When stuff happened to you that you know you didn't deserve, mm -hmm. you start thinking about the person that is a little less deserving of God's grace in this situation. Mm -hmm. Be like, why the hell did that happen to them? <laughs> that didn't belong to me. Did you miss him? Do, uh -huh. do, do, do. He missed the target? Hey, hey, hey in that case, I could have I could have said just like that <laughs> so you can get them. Because that right there, that punishment is not mine. Yeah. Why do I have that? So yeah, that was... That yeah. that was a blow right there. And I think I think all of us done done, done been down that road, man. Yeah. <sighs> the stuff happens, you be like, why me? I know sometimes the quote is, why not you? And I could give it, you a thousand reasons why yeah. not me. <laughs> you know, and I understand that it's stuff come along to make you stronger, but you have to let people I'm go strong. Through, go through that process of being pissed off at God. That's yeah. that's, that's 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 reality. So I'm wondering, is that what we're gonna get from Sophia now? That she, a, that, that she gonna that she gonna turn into a wild chick? Not even a wild chick, but somebody's faith that has been really tested. Cause you know, until something like that happens to you, you have all the faith in the world. Yeah. That if I do my part, God to do His part. You mm -hmm. know, according to what I know should be happening to me. Yep. And now that something like this has happened, that's life altering. Yeah. I mean, God, don't. But most people who talk like that at you, that you ain't got no faith, you ought to be stronger than that, ain't nothing terrible happened to you yet. Mm -mm. You ain't, your, your, your most vulnerable part in your life hadn't been touched yet. Yeah. Let that be touched. Then come and then tell me how much me. faith you got. Yeah. Yeah. And don't tell me how much faith I didn't have. Yeah. For some Because that would get you knocked out. Exactly. Some people that could be their wife, their child, their mama, their parents, their health, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know some people, I know one girl that had a mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. Um, She was, she go hard. I mean, she went hard for God. And her husband cheated on her and sent her to the, she had to end up going to psych ward. It messed her up that, that bad, man. Mm. So, I don't know. We talk from experience. We know. Yeah. Well, I'm not from experience, but people who have experienced that. Yeah, like, we we have the ocular proof. Yeah, so. It's real, man. It's real, real. It's real. So over there at um Triumph, Coochie Cross, you know, part of her plan is to get uh, um First Lady Coochie Cole Skanks and Basie back into Triumph. But the plan is Coochie Cross don't got all these documents together. A whole bunch of them is a bunch of fluff. But she told Homegirl 
take these documents in there and get Jacob to sign them. Put on your put your sexy on and get him to sign them. Within all of this fluff, there's one piece of paper and it's gonna open up a checking account or in a bank account for the real church that doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, um, but that church doesn't exist. And she said, yep, but we're gonna start moving money to that account. And that way, we'll him up Jacob, and then <laughs> I'm working on the bishop, and we'll get them out of our lives once and for all. Yeah, because you, um, you do want Basie back, right? So Keisha Cole Skank, she tried to do it one time. She couldn't go through with it. She went back the second time and she actually did get Jacob to sign all the documents. But the whole time it was almost like she wanted to snatch the paperwork like, back nah, from Jacob. Yeah. Because Jacob is telling her, you know, uh, anything you need, we'll get it for you, family. Yeah, and I the, trust you and all yeah, that. Yeah, laying it on this. How many to I mean, let's just go ahead and keep it real. How many pastors and first ladies that are new to a church and newly installed into a church would actually bring in the first lady into a fold that tight? That yeah. close, mm -hmm. treat her like she is family, still give her some responsibilities. And let her keep that nice to, office, too. Yeah, and don't toss her to the side. And, she, <clears throat> and you can tell that stuff is starting to get to her. Mm -hmm. And of course, he want to smash her, but. And I got a feeling that she's going to lose that piece of paper. I yeah. hope she loses that yeah, piece of paper. Yeah, I hope she do, too. So we're we going to see what's going to happen with that. I say, all right, Jacob, he ain't my favorite character, but. He he been doing all right. Yeah, he been all right. He's you know he ain't been cheating, so he good with me, man. Yeah, so I mean, don't do that to Jacob, and I don't know if she's going to do it. So at the end of the episode, after they don't went through this whole deal with um with um Sophia, Bishop just walked. He's defeated. He walked into May's office and he said, "Here's a draft. Mm -hmm. I trust your judgment that if you need to tweak anything in this draft." Yeah. Go ahead and do so. We can stand before the church and we'll go ahead and read this out and we'll let them know what's, what the deal is. And she basically was like, close the door, don't let the door hit you with a good law split you. And I'm done. Bye. I said, I'm not for this. We need to find somebody else to my take question, my church. Do you, do you think they're going to make it, man? Because if they don't make it, where's the storyline going to go? That's what I know. Yeah. So even if Gigi take over the church, that's a whole different storyline. And I'm not trying to be funny. Or even if she take over the church, it's going to be a whole different storyline, huh? Yeah. It's going to be no more bishop. And I'm not even trying to be funny. We always say, usually in a marriage, one has the gift. And the other one is a very hard supporter of the gift. Meaning that if there's a preacher in the house, usually the other one is a teacher. Mm -hmm. It's just how it works. Or the other one's a prophet or whatever. In this case... First lady may be able to preach, but she's not a nurturing soul. No, she, nah, she nah, doesn't nah, have nah. a she doesn't have a shepherd's heart. Mm -mm. So she'll cut you off with the quickness. Yeah, that's she might help you one time, but that second time come in there. Don't come in. Don't don't have, yeah, yeah, hey, do what I told you to do last time and make that work. Yeah, and don't come back until you make it work. <laughs> See, that's how I would be, and I would have two and a half members at the church. Yep. <laughs> Look, I don't I don't see where this is going. Now, Gigi would be better because she is very nurturing and very inclusive. But at the same time, there's so much skit going on. I don't want to be at a church where the daddy yes. the got sat down and now the daughter don't took over the church. It's too much going on. This is an episode of Love and Hip Hop Jesus. Didn't it happen at a church that you had went to? You went there and, and the pastor was in jail and they, they tell, told everybody he was on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. It's not. It's not. Awesome. You got it. He got no vacation for, for a long, long time. <laughs> he got him out of this joke. He in jail. <laughs> uh, look. Oh, oh God. Look, look, look. See, you know what? Look, y'all. Look. We got. I'll tell you. If we were ever tell some stories for real, we would make so much money because you can't pick this skin up. Look, look, look. On a serious <laughs> note, we. Hey, we need to help Bishop pay this song, this IRS wow. man. How? We, we need to come together and raise an offering. Look, 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 look. I, I, I got $100 on it right here. 
Yeah, and anybody else come put a hundred, and this not real, so don't come. I can already this. say this is fake hundred, but this is my fake hundred on Bishop's two million dollar bill. Y'all gonna put y'all gonna put up some money? I think it was for two million. Was was that what two thousand of us need to give a hundred dollars, or is that two twenty thousand of us need to get a hundred dollars? Before people ask why we got fake money, can we explain? God knows it's gonna come up. <laughs> we had to do a video, y'all. Yeah. And we needed some fake money for the foot of Yeah, so that's fake money. So we got a whole bunch of, so don't think we ran right here trying to, trying to floss and all that. No, we had a video to do. So. But yeah, I, I got my, I got my honey. You got your honey. I think it's 20,000 people never get a hundred dollars. Why did you just turn into a pill? Yeah, that's how, that's how you got to do to raise an offer, man. <laughs> how you do is that? I need 20,000 people to give a hundred dollars. <laughs> that's how that pastor ended up in jail. <laughs> Straight for the VA. Dirty, dirty. Two of them. Gone.